Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our November budget. It's been a couple months since I've posted a budget. Life happened. We were just making our way through, so we are getting back on track and excited to share with you our joint budget. So if you are new here, my husband and I got married in June and we are semi-joining um, finances. So we have bills that we each pay. They come out of our checking accounts. I'm not going to be including that in the budgets I share here. So um, you'll just be seeing our joint expenses kind of moving forward, but anything like our mortgage or, or you know, like power bill, water, like those types of things are all um, things that we're going to keep separate and off of the internet. So let's go ahead and jump in with November. So our joint income, like I said, after those items are taken care of and come out of our checking accounts, we have separate checking accounts and then we you know, keep enough that we need for our bills and transfer the rest into a joint checking. So that's just what we do um, in our joint income and budgeting is $10,000. This is a little bit fluctuating, um, but that's what I'm going to budget for. So the first one is our joint expenses. Uh, number one here, we've got our storage. We have a um, boat and a fish house that have storage. So we are currently paying 180. I think we're going to look at other options. Maybe we can pay a year at a time. We'll get there when we get there. But for now, we're just going to keep it this through the end of the year. So 180. And then we have our XP, which is our side by side. And that is $600 a month. Um, we do have a loan on that and we're paying extra. And then subscriptions. This is uh, this includes Netflix, Spotify, uh, iCloud storage. We also do the Met Opera on demand. We try to watch an opera or two every month. So all of those kind of like monthly subscriptions for streaming are sixty three dollars. So this section of joint expenses equals eight hundred forty three dollars, and I am now rounding to the dollar. Previously, I went to the penny. I'm going to try rounding to the dollar at least for the budget and see how it goes. Um, so that leaves us with $9,157 remaining. So the next section is variable expenses. These are the like day-to-day -day spending items. For me, I did break it into these different categories to help kind of assign some numbers. My goal each month is just going to be to stay in the total number. So like if I'm over on groceries but under on Miko, I kind of am not going to put a lot of emphasis on caring about the subcategories. I just want our overall variable expenses to be within the range that we're setting. So with that being said, groceries, we are budgeting $1,000. We primarily eat at home um, and we lean towards a low carb diet. So we are buying you know, a lot of meat, a lot of vegetables. Um, we go to the grocery store multiple times a week to get fresh stuff. I have just kind of noticed our grocery budget increase, but we are happy with the way that we're eating, so that's what we're gonna keep doing. Gas, I'm budgeting $250. Um, this is for our vehicles as well as like, you know, the boat when it's in the water, all that kind of stuff, uh, gas for the XP. Spending is gonna be $1,000, and this is kind of a broad category, but this includes like going out to eat. It includes any cash that we wanna have in our wallet, so usually I pull about 100 or $150 each month to have in my wallet. My husband does the same. This also includes like clothes. Um, for example, I just bought some jeans in various styles to try. Um, so I'll return what I don't like, but just kind of like the miscellaneous personal spending. Miko is our cat and I'm budgeting $100 a month for his supplies. This used to be a sinking fund. We're kind of shifting away from sinking funds a little bit. Um, so this is just $100 for like his food and his litter, you know, whatever he needs that month. Beauty, I'm going to budget 200. This is for you know any sort of hygiene related products, uh, makeup, nail polish, shower items, like anything like that. Health is going to get 150. This is for more of like vitamins, you know, over the counter meds. Um, we have met our max out of pocket this year for health insurance needs. So this is kind of just like the small things that you know, like day to day things that come up. And then home, I'm going to budget 200, and this is for you know, you need new Tupperware or toilet paper or cleaning supplies, like that type of thing. And then miscellaneous. I am always going to keep a miscellaneous here. It's going to be $300. Um, and that's for all the things that don't fall into one of these categories, really. Um, so that is going to total 
oops, $3,200 as our variable expense budget. So like I said, I would, this is the goal amount that I want to stay within essentially and how it kind of breaks out will always shift month by month, but that is really what I'm looking for um, us to try to adhere to. So that means I have $5,957 remaining after putting aside money for variable expenses. <clears throat> And then the next section on here is for cash flow. All right, sorry about that. Pause. Lighting might be a little bit different. It's a little bit later in the day. I got interrupted. But um, cash flow section. So this is for things that are coming up in November that we're going to be paying for, but they're not really like recurring things that happen every single month. So the first one is Nico Teeth. My cat is going to the dentist, <laughs> to the vet, um, for a teeth cleaning. This is generally what I got quoted. I'm hoping it'll be a little bit lower, but that is um, what I'm planning for. The next one is my car service. Um, so I'm gonna budget 300. I need an oil change. And then also I've met 60,000 miles in my car. So I know that there's some kind of routine maintenance that needs to be done. So I've got to get that scheduled. Then I've got Peacock. This is a you know streaming service. I got the Peacock subscription last year for Black Friday. They were doing it's like 20 something dollars for the whole year. So I plan to renew then. Um, I'm going to budget 25. I don't know what the taxes and all that is, but that's what I'm um, budgeting there. And then Christmas, I'm going to start planning for Christmas shopping. So I'm going to budget $1,200 for Christmas shopping. We don't have a ton you know, of people that we shop for, but um, this should at least get us started. I've got my husband um, and then some nieces and, you know, sometimes I like to do little gifts here and there, but um, yeah, that'll get us started. And then the last one's Black Friday, budgeting $800. I don't have a huge list of things that we're really like looking for for Black Friday, but I do typically buy like my annual planner. It goes on sale. Um, and, you know, just if there's anything else that maybe we've been wanting to get for the home, we can use those sales to our advantage. I think maybe two years ago, we did a big order from Yankee Candle and just got a bunch of candles for winter because we do burn candles every night. So um, we'll just see. That's what I'm saying for whatever we want to do. We might not use it all. Um, so that's that. So this cash flow section totals um, $3,425, which gives me a remaining of $2,532. And that brings me down to the last section, which is savings. So I do um, cash savings challenges on my channel and I budget $350 for that. And then the rest will go into our joint savings account. I'm just calling it general savings. Um, this is what we use like to pay for vacations or like furniture or other home purchases. Um, I'm not putting it into specific sinking funds because our, you know, our plans change and I feel like the sinking funds almost got too restrictive for me. Um, so I'm going to be trying this out and seeing how it goes. But the rest of our money then would be $2,182 into general savings, which gives me a total of that $2,532. And that brings me down to a zero base budget. So I have a plan for every dollar that comes into our possession in November. And we will see what our actuals um, come out to. So early December, stay tuned for a recap video. I'll be going through the actuals, the percentage um, that each category took up of our monthly joint budget, and then I'll also be sharing other expenses that we used our savings to purchase throughout the month. So looking forward to checking in on November's budget in early December, but that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.